Your favorite local musicians like you have never seen them before. Intimate collaborations between iconic artists and the musicians they want you to know about. Tonight, Dessa, featuring 2911. It's all happening right now, live, on the legendary 7th Street Entry stage. It doesn't matter if she's rapping on the Hamilton mixtape or writing for the New York Times. Dessa approaches her work with extraordinary ferocity, wit, tenderness, and candor. Welcome, Dessa, to the stage. Don't be shy. I already like you. Don't care what you drive. I'm attracted to the IQ. It's not my cell to make the first move. Having fun to stop a waste is maybe high school. Sealed with a kiss, signed with an empty pen. Gotta tolerate some risk if you wanna make a margin. Wanna make a friend, we can live a little larger. Split the dividend. Real stuff, let's go. I already miss too much to take this thing too slow. I already like you. And there's no, no sure, sure bet. You just ride, ride, ride through that. As a kid, I think I had an ambition that was sort of like non-specific. I knew I wanted to have a job like I saw on TV where people made this face a lot. <laughs> I, I think that just was like shorthand for like, I find this important and purposeful and urgent. And I knew I was like, yep, I want that job. And when people had like takeout boxes late at night and slept in their, their dress clothes, which now of course is like an indication of horrible work-life balance. So I think as a kid, I was like, I want horrible work-life balance too. <laughs> and I got it. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Already missed too much to take this thing too slow. I already like you. And there's no show sure back. You just ride, ride, ride through Come on now. Do you know how hard it is to conceal and carry a saxophone? That's like the shiniest one we got, man. Joshua, come on, AKA Jelly, let's roll. This is Aviva J on Harper Voice. Let's rock. Take your front sound if you're talking to me. No VIP says VIP. I've known powerful women, beautiful men, and none of them calling for about a service set of down and settle in. Mind your manners, make a friend. Where you been? How you living? Have a drink. It's cash only, but the staff knows me. Tell them it's the girl in the back. Tabs open. When you go, you live by Roman A standing desk, you get a floating grave. They say pound of flesh, ah, but then it's metric. Wait, hold up, trying to get the glow up. Hope the Bitcoin flip before the cold rush. Middle class, the poor man's poor man. Disappoint the kids, bringing home the store brand. How life with a stone against a shoulder, trying to flip the symbol over, get it equal to or more than Chekhov says. You got a gun, you gotta use it. Guess they're reading Chekhov downtown in their cruisers. Catch the case, we all lose. Make Dixie look like cartoon, that lady. Justice ain't blind yet. Lens cap on the body cam, missed again. They make you wait while they run your name and St. Peter at the gate says tuck your chain in. I 
think a lot of time that true stories do their own work. So if you can provide an honest, well-crafted testimony of what it's like to be alive in failure and in success, then people will be able to see those moments of your experience that lack with theirs, right? And that's how connection is made. So I don't always presuppose that I know exactly how any song will land. When they work, I've been lucky enough to have, you know, some people write, come up after a show and say, hey, I'm going through X and this song really resonated with me. But I don't know that you can always plan that. Last night, old friend, big wedding, and I knew you'd be there soon. Look at us, all grown up, college shirts and high heels, shoes. You crossed the road, which is a decent thing to do. Make sure we'd all been introduced. You brought your new friend, I brought mine. She can't speak courtesy, it's due. But it takes its She lives around here. I see her almost daily. All I can do to stop myself from saying something crazy. I don't think badly of her. I hope she makes you happy. Just a lot to ask to watch your future walking past me. I know that jealousy is a perfect waste of time. But left to my devices, I've spent far too long wasting my I was 100% not in a choir as a kid, and I wasn't in band, and I wasn't in theater. I was in my basement <laughs> for the most part. I was like a really angsty teenager. Uh, I was difficult to raise. And I was sort of inhibited by the fact that my mom had this really, really, truly notable voice. I learned how to sing in the passenger side of my mother's car. She would drive, she'd put a song on the radio, and she would go, okay, now you do it. <laughs> and if you just sang along with the melody of the song, mom was not impressed. <laughs> and so it became real clear that she'd go, hey. Like when you did a little harmony, you know, or you did like one of those little kind of echoey trills, or if you could figure out like a cool little run up and a little run down, that was when mom would like stop drumming with her rings on the steering wheel <laughs> and give you like a look at you. I think for me, that was where singing started and probably some of the most important like singing lessons happened listening you know to mom in the driver's seat oh, 
Swimming in a snifter, pretty as a picture. Don't get it twisted, man, a wife is a bitch. You can name, you can keep her, but take care when you feed her. You never can take the fight at the fish. Chomping at the little bit, never want to still sit. You can test my metal with the magnet and some tin snips. Ink test, all I see is cannons and some wing tips. Pilot bit in pocket, I'm riding instincts and ink jets. Around here, we don't like talk, big dreams. To stand out is a pride and conceit. To aim high is to make waves, to split scenes. That's not what it seems like to me, cause I want to try, I want to risk. I don't want to walk, rather swing in this. I'm not above apologies, but I don't ask permission. Got a lot of imperfections, but I don't oh, care my ambition in them. See those never the mind. It's always hanging there over its shadow. Safe for battle, waste of art. Just time and trouble, waste of effort, waste of part. If you don't aim for the center, it's a waste of the eyes. I didn't come looking for love. I didn't come to pick a fight. I didn't come to wave or take pictures. Panda to some benefactor, ring on every broken finger. I want to send my wings to be clipped. I know the culture here is to stay humble, but shit. If we all go round, bowed heads, but lips. If none of us go for the bell, then who is? My mother says I've loved too many men, but I took and left something in every single bed. The rook can look left, right, just turns his head, but the night might rise up. Investigate the grid like gender genre, guess I'm on one bed. Both just the constructs of the old world gone broke. Women, children, let me tell you, I've been both. It's a myth, we all swim for the lifeboats. I didn't come looking for love. I didn't come to pick a fight. I come here every night to work. And you can grab an ax, man, or you can step aside. Self-taught, self-made, best self-style, self-sourced, self-came, self-took, island of converts, the conquerors old school, we march them in converse, under their own tools, while my knees still flex, while my voice holds steady, my shops, my straight trucks, lays witty, I travel like I travel like they touch them, I swallow the dice, I make my own luck now. Zero, zero, never, it's the mark, it's always My first sort of like artistic gestures were on the page, not on stage. By the time I was about like 20, I think, I started competing as a slam poet. Perfect. That was how I then met the artistic collective that is Doomtree, which I eventually joined. And that was part of our show for a long time. And it was also a super handy part of the show because whenever there was a tech issue, which was very often uh, in the beginning, you could just grab a poem and you know read it or perform it from memory and it would buy you time to figure out like why the mixer wasn't working. And that's ended up being sort of like a, a bug but became a feature of my live show. And then I love doing that stuff. I wasn't sure how to be a writer for a really long time, but I could decide to be a writer for three minutes at a time in my own set. And so that was an outlet before I had a socket for my plug. This is called How to Stage Dive. <laughs> Pay attention to your posture while singing and practicing guitar. High school is a great time to start. <laughs> At your first open mic, speak and sing more slowly than feels natural. Time moves differently up there, and it always will. Accept every performance you are offered. When you get a plain envelope with some cash in it, pay a little tax anyway. The humblest shows at coffee shops or rec centers will be the most important of your career because the shy kid in the back grows up to work for Warner. I've been thinking a lot about what success means. I decided at some point that in addition to using all the like metrics that are sort of handed to you when you join, how many people came to your show? How many records did you sell? How much money are you making? Which is a metric that most of us use for most things, right? But stage diving for me has become really important. 
A moment where I stage dive means the audience cared enough to catch me and I trusted them enough to jump. Like that's just hard data. <laughs> stage diving just counts, it meant that night worked. Towards the end of the set, play your second biggest song, ask the band to loop the outro. Walk to the edge of the stage, lift your arms, take a small step that puts your toes over the edge, rock back twice in time with the music to prime them, and then jump. Land on your back. <laughs> Land on your back on their bed of palms. You will not feel weightless. You will feel the full heft of your grown body muscled up to the light by drunk people of varying heights. <laughs> And you will want to lift your head to look back at your band, your friends on stage, to say, this is madness, or come join me. But you don't have time for that, because now you have to focus. Look up at the ceiling, the light trusses, the calcified smoke. Feel the fingers curl around your ankles. Listen to the voices below coordinating your safe passage. Make yourself into a battery to store some of this feeling. Because it is the currency of your life. And it is only ever dispensed this way, sandblasted. And there will be many years, many months, where you will receive no payments at all. And you will have to draw on this reserve of elation and arrogance and selfishness and selflessness and communion while your friends buy dogs and houses. You can't steer really. The crowd just sets you back on stage when it is time. Oh, someone time your eyes to talk, but if they ask me, I ain't heard a thing. Back to the dying boy. Back to the wall, back to the boy. Back to the dying boy. Back to the wall, back to the boy. Back to the dying boy. Again. There was a snowstorm in Jackson when you and I met at a club called St. Sebastian's. But the sign said something different. I remember thinking that I didn't have a shot at Mississippi Television. Told us which roads they were closing. There goes the rap show. Everybody knew you as the wife of the famous man. Everybody who knew said, there goes Dixon's girl again. Even the walls are in closer. When she plays the piano real slow. Oh, haven't met so many women in this business that I really like, 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 but you can hold a little liquor, you can hold a conversation, you can hold your own mind. And even that night, I learned the truth about your man. Gotta be big to treat pretty girls bad. It's not much. But my money's on you, it's not much. But my money's on you, it's not much. But my money, not much. But my money, not much. But my money, my money's on you. Well, I heard from the rest of the world You're in trouble, bad news moves like fire That you fight on the phone I'm too far away, my will wishing can't touch you But I think of you still more than you might suppose Everybody wanna see you with your hand down Wanna hear you hit the high note Wanna know if they can get you for a little less Girl, I don't, I know how the stones can fly Had some hard goodbyes Call me up day and night Free drinks and bad advice The tough thing about doing TV, right? is you know the swear words are baked in. They're happening in your head constantly, and it's not much. But my money's on you, it's not much. But my money, my money's on you. It's on you, it's on you. Okay, listen, 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 listen. You're my lipstick tech. Make, give me the secret signal you're gonna make when my lipstick goes all the way up to my frenulum by my nose. Yes. Like I'm a spy. Yeah. Fantastic, second rate spy. Ready? Oh, right now? Are you doing it? Yeah. 
It's like you've never been a lipstick tech in your whole life. That's, that's what it feels like right now. Do I have lipstick between my nose and my oh, lips? absolutely not. Okay, great. But you got me. Okay, cool, let's go. This is my friend, fantastically talented bassist, Ian Allison. Yeah. I'm going to play a new song called Crash that we haven't yet played. <laughs> came to crash your party looks like your party crashed itself everyone left early let's be something good going someplace else but i see you through the window wearing that face you make when you're alone i knock and you let me to do when I'm not here with you. I'm lost. Oh, I'm running around. I'm a creep. I'm a clown. I'm exhausted. So I came to crash your party. I know now it's too late to talk. I just want to pick up all Feel like it never even happened at all I came to crash your party Come on and say I can stay just to help I know you could use somebody To get the glasses back up on the shelves I came to crash your party Triple threat. I'm not some method actress trying to see my, my descent. You're gonna have to play the tape backwards. Save that breath for choir practice. Got no time for my detractor. Standing on my staircase. All you are is a fire head. Come on. Put my time in now. I'm vetted, uncontested. See how an honest answer shuts down. Mother asking trick questions. I'm out here, arms wide, hiding nothing. I've done it all in broad daylight. I left the cameras right away. Secret is I don't keep them. Say something, go ahead and say something. I ain't afraid of it. I don't drown, mostly down. He finds a way to rise somehow. Skin the crowd is out, coming out and I Don't see too many rivals now. I just tell the truth. Let it off the leash, don't touch it. It knows what to do. I'm running a tight ship. Every deckhand here has a five year plan and an ice pick. They can write cold, they can drop sick. I got an octave on you and a high kick. Don't blink, I don't block, I'm a bleeder. All I do is hit. I don't win them all, but I say I take five out of six. Clock's running, better glove up if you insist. Okay, let's see who's really counting cool and who's been kind of fit. I'm the Phoenix and the Ash. Red eyes shining in the camera flash. My secret. Is I don't keep my see something, go ahead and say something. I ain't afraid of it. I don't know. Won't say down. He finds a way to rise somehow. Skin the crowd is up, coming out and I don't see too many. Got my own gills with a pocket knife. 
Turning my fingers in the sockets, my daily dose of daily dose of daily dose of lightning. Just buzz enough to get me climbing up the kite. String my back and say, my belt too tight, I put a chisel tip to this pencil fight. No luck, just for the five dice. I'm going morning and night, and I'm really rising. I'm really rising. Fire on the horizon, Phoenix and the ash. Red eyes shining in the camera flash. My secret is I don't keep nothing. See something, go ahead and say something. I ain't afraid of it. I don't drown. Won't stay down. He finds a way to rise somehow. Scan the crowd as I'm coming out, and I don't see too many rivals now. I'm the Phoenix and the ash. Red eyes shining in the in the camera flash. It's I don't keep nothing. Something, go ahead and say something. I ain't afraid of it. I don't drown. Won't sit down. He finds a way to rise somehow. Skin the crowd as I'm coming out, and I don't see too many rivals now. First down, bounce, bounce. I gotta go. So I'm just sitting down to dinner in Johannesburg, which for me is pap, which is like um, like grits, like a firmer grits. And one of the things that's probably most striking to any visitor to South Africa is how... Years ago, I was on tour with the Minnesota Orchestra. I was touring with them in South Africa as a embedded social media person. I hope that you can see it on our faces. And on one of the stops, I got to see these singers in a really humble environment. It was like a conference room. And they were part of a choir, I later found out, is called 2911. And watching them sing, like, sent my blood pumping in the opposite direction for a moment. They blew me away, the way they used their voices, the way they moved their bodies, the way they interacted with the crowd. And I'm lucky enough to have stayed in contact with that choir, and I've worked with them now a couple of times. My name is Brendan Adams, and I'm the director and co-founder of the group called 2911. We are based in South Africa and in Minneapolis. Even though we operate in different musical worlds, we operate in different worldviews, there is a recognition of I hope talent, but also a general generosity of spirit, or at least an aspiration towards generosity. I like listening to what they have to say about justice and race and money and equality. And those lessons and that thinking very much rhymes with the way that I hope to behave in the world. In choirs that I've sung with, blend is the most important thing. We want to sound like hundreds of bodies and one voice. Yeah. And I, I get the sense that that's not the imperative in a lot of South African singing. It's like you can hear each singer's particular voice. Yeah. Like you're not straining, you're not aiming for blend. Is that right? Yes. We do the basic, and after we know the basic, now it's the South African sound needs to come through. Tell me what the South African sound is. Um, making sure you make the South African chanting, you know. Um, if I sing tenor, if there's three tenors, each tenor within that voice needs to do something special mm. to stray away from the root. Could we get a little bit of these three? Utanga and. Utanga. 
we sometimes harmonize up to 12 parts, which is hard to do, but we can. So that is the difference of the sound of just authentic South African music.
Miss Ayanda Numalo, everybody. Choral music was not for the poor. That was told by the rich white folk back home. So we created our own choral sound. Similar to the African Americans, when African Americans sing their gospel sound, you can feel it from the core. It's a people that's been oppressed. Apartheid simply means, in English, a time apart, segregate. That's what the government did back then to people of color, to black people. But I'm called to do a specific job, and that is to bring people together of all sorts of backgrounds, all cultures. Our chorus, it's 11 different tribes. In South Africa, that is not heard of. We decided if we spread the message of reconciliation, it should be all cultures in South Africa. We are all one people, and that's the message I want to spread. We are almost through. We've got one more song to sing for you. Yeah, and so wherever we go, we try to sing this song because our forefathers were killed because of their skin color singing the song in public. Because of them, we are from South Africa singing our national anthem live at First Avenue tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah.
I've only performed with the choir on stage once. I think that there is something undeniable about the force of their performance and just like the force of their personalities. They're a really, really special performance group. It has been an honor not just to sing with you, but to get to know you as human beings. Thank you for singing with me today. One more time, 2911. Yes. I know that when you write a press release, it sounds like, can you believe it, a rapper in a South African choir? <laughs> but I don't think in practice it's that weird. I no. really don't. It just, it's, it's stranger because of how we think of genres yeah. and how we sell yeah. music, how we make music. Yeah. It doesn't feel unusual yeah. to me. It's not even about the artist, it's about the person. If our visions are aligned in different continents, mm. in different music worlds, but if the visions are aligned, you can't keep people like that away from it. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. They say there's good grief, but how can you tell it from the bad? Maybe it's only in the fact. Good grief's the one that's in your past. I got so in my pockets when done again head first. Lays drill bits to my point shoes. Pirouette to the hardwood to pay dirt. Night falls, day breaks. Time has a funny kind of violence and I'm uh, trying to keep in mind it can't leave you the way it finds you. I've heard people say it. What a phrase, what a state to be in. But I don't know where they go to get, get that feeling. My knees ain't clean up much for praying. I do my own stunts and my own saving. But there's something, I miss something I've been missing. Say maybe, maybe This time my best wasn't good enough. Well, usually it is. And the air got a little rough. Took off the fuselage and engine and both wings. But I'm ready to work for this. Just show me what it did. I'm ready to hurt for this. I know exactly what this is. Good grief. I want that good grief. The one that heals me. That leaves me clarified by fire. And I burn clean, tempered by light. 
morning heat. I in the day to morning, I'll be better for it, and then fortified, I'll rise. Bust the hive and let it spread. Champagne. Wings are broken, but I feel Champagne. I'm real today. I know this feeling, let it rain. I guess I should be upset, but I'm in my nightgown on the lawn, thinking better that they're gone. I've been afraid of this so long. It's a little late when it goes wrong. Cause I'm here now, and death's skin melt me down. Recast me, burn me clean, like glass. From Sandy Ground. Cause I'm here now, and dark skin melt me down. Recast me, burn me clean, like blood from Sandy Ground. They say there's good grief, but how can you tell it from the bad? on the block turn up calling out the same games that i played it goes turn around Good job. touch the ground Good job. wake up to power can look for love and when that rope comes round you jump that rope comes round you jump 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 you sterilize a needle with a lighter and a prayer so your empty pockets close cut up all your hair you train up on the mountaintop to weaponize the blood you bring your body back to see level to see what body does 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 and it runs and it runs and it runs if it's just jump broken you try not to get in you try to stay in don't let them talk back down it's still jump broke now it was just jump broken you try not to get it you try to stay in, don't let them talk that down. It's still John Brown now. You hope you get the fast or some of what you ask for. Never let a broken heart could keep you from the dance floor. Have a little fun. On the black turn rope, calling out the same game. Turn around, touch the ground. Wake up to find work and look for love. And when that rope comes around, that rope comes around, you jump, 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 jump. If it's just jump rope, then you try not to get it. You try to stay in, don't let them talk that down. It's still jump rope now. It was just jump rope, man. You try not to get in. You try to stay in. Don't let them talk that down. It's still jump rope now. It was just jump rope, that rope comes around. You try not to get in. You try to stay in. Don't let them talk that down. It's still 
One of the things that for me, <laughs> as a visitor to the singing universe, is that it feels so much like, well, that was a good one, go ahead. It feels like singing in the car with mom, right? Uh, it's all character, all creative, all, all. It is a heartbreaking and heart healing thing to hear you perform. Mm. Let's do one more, yeah? Please. 
Funding for this program is supported in part by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, Janine and John Spear, and these stage supporters.